Well, indeed, we are facing a, a major famine in the um, northeastern part of Africa currently, so these issues are right at the top of our uh, daily existence. Uh, here at the uh, Climate Change Conference, I think that uh, what we've been able to uh, emphasize uh, is the, um, the gaining role of evergreen agriculture as a means of actually tackling these problems. And um, in our learning event uh, here at the Agriculture and Rural Development Day, we just uh, had the opportunity to analyze the impact of evergreen agriculture over millions of hectares of land in countries throughout Western, Eastern, and Southern Africa and uh, get feedback about how we can actually improve the effectiveness of campaigns to scale up uh, evergreen agriculture in, in many other countries. Basically, uh, it is all about um, developing ways in which trees are integrated into the croplands of Africa. And with the uh, amazing species of trees that exist here that are so compatible with crops, we are able to see enormous uh, dramatic increases in crop yields, uh, fodder uh, production, and the production of fuel, wood, and timber for households uh, all over the continent. And so um, we've been trying to uh, really bring this to the fore because so many policymakers are totally unaware of the potential role of trees in uh, adapting to climate change. The role of agroforestry is being recognized as a tremendous um, uh, fundamental part of what we see as the solutions for both adaptation and mitigation uh, in, in Africa. And um, we've been very uh, happy to see how the international organizations, as well as governments, are gearing up to support these efforts. And we're working in, now country, uh, with, in countries with governments all over the continent to actually take advantage of the many years of research that have developed solutions that farmers not only can use, but are using on millions of hectares of land. And uh, it's our vision that uh, we could reach now um, the most poor and desperately hungry people who are the rural farmers that cannot actually grow enough food for the entire year. Well, um, RED um, has been um, limited in its discussions mainly to the uh, conservation of forests and the reafforestation um, of uh, plantation forests. But indeed, um, this is only a part of the solution. And uh, agriculture is the cause of deforestation predominantly throughout the tropics. And what we find is that unless farmers have the trees that are producing the products and services that they need on their farms, in their communities, they're going to have to uh, have access to those uh, products and services in the forest, whether it's timber or other forest products. And so indeed agroforestry, which is the growing of trees on farms, for the benefit of farm households is a, a major way of deflecting deforestation. <clears throat> if you can employ, em, employ these techniques in, in, in communities, they don't need to use the forest resources uh, to the extent that they would have had to, and they can cooperate and collaborate with governments to actually protect those resources.